tongue virus is an arthropod borne virus. What that means is it's transmitted by insects, and in this case, it's transmitted by biting midges. Uh, these are really tiny flies. If you look at, at the culicoides midge, it's about the size of an E on a penny, so it's incredibly small. Um, and these actually transmit the virus, and it's probably the only way that the virus is actually transmitted. And we're interested in it now because due to climate change, the virus has been moving up from the Mediterranean basin right up, way in, up into northern Europe. Um, it arrived in Netherlands in 2006. Blue tongue virus serotype 8 was a bit strange in that it seems to be transmitted also transplacentally. So it seems to be able to be transmitted from the mother to the uh, young. So this could be why it's managed to overwinter under conditions which usually would have knocked it out of normal populations. Because during the winter the midges overwinter as larvae and can't transmit the virus to their offspring. So it had to somehow survive the normal um, European winter. The interesting thing as well about um, blue tongue virus serotype 8 is although we predicted that blue tongue virus could come into the um, UK at some point, um, this has actually been transmitted incredibly successfully. So it looks like at least one of the species which we're dealing with um, on the midge side is incredibly competent for the virus and is able to transmit it very easily. Okay, today what we're trying to do with this rather fine truck trap is to look at the uh, behaviour of biting midges which spread blue tongue virus under different meteorological conditions and also at different times of the day. So what we're doing is running along a uh, path with a uh, truck trap on top of the truck. What this does is to catch any insects which are flying around in the surface above where we're driving. And this allows us to have a look at what different insects are actually flying under different meteorological conditions. The one we're interested in are culicoides biting midges. And these midges are responsible for spreading blue tongue virus which appeared in the UK late last year. Um, and what we're really trying to find out is whether the meteorological conditions determine what particular insects you get, and in particular the culicoides midges. So we can advise farmers as to when they can stable their livestock um, and various other things. And we're also interested in putting this data into our mathematical models to predict where and where blue tongue will be transmitted and at what times during the year. At the moment we're just driving along this route which basically encompasses a lot of the landscapes which the midges are present in. So we've got some uh, grazing to our right which is mainly sheep and we'll go past a load of calves later on. What this, this gives us is a representation of the populations across these particular environments. The trap is uh, basically a Muslim tent which we put on top of the uh, truck um, and this is basically drawn tight so that any insects which go into the top of the trap end up in the back of it and then we collect into um, a small net at the end of the trap and this collects everything but we, which actually flies um, through the trap and then at the end of the run we'll take it off and look at what's actually in it. Let's go and have a look. Chris is going to jump up and move the net to the back, which contains all the insects that we've caught during the trapping so far. And then we're going to put them into a killing jar, which contains chlorophyll. That'll kill all the insects which are actually in there, and then we'll sort them out and put them into ethanol and take them back to the right to identify them. The sheep like these are the worst affected by blue tongue. So what we do to find out which midges are actually feeding on these sheep, we put them into a large tent. Okay, so now I'm getting into the cave. Okay, so I'm looking for midges now. They usually collect up in the corners of the netting. Looks like one there. So I just blow them into the tub like that. So what we have here is a weather station that's downloading data actually from the sensors which are on it, which record things like wind direction and speed and also temperature and humidity. And what we do is to use that data to correlate with both the truck trapping and also the drop trapping to give us an idea of when the midges are active and also what meteorological conditions they're flying under and biting the sheep. The experiments are vital because it's, it's actually knowing your enemy to a certain extent, then you can put into place things like stabling and things along those lines. 
It's also the case that we need to understand how insecticides work um, and whether they are going to be effective against these particular insects. It's looking at the midges and thinking when are they going to be active and what can we do to put a barrier between uh, our livestock and these midges.